Hello and welcome to Maths Insider. Today I'm going to review Education City. Education City provides online games and activities for children aged 3 to 12 years old. When I first logged on, I thought my kids are going to love this. It's bright, it's colourful and it's got upbeat music. It has separate websites for UK and US customers. It covers English, Math, Science and Foreign Languages, but for this review I'm going to focus on the Maths content. My preschool accounted Jungle Bongo Beats, Passengers on the Bus, and even Hen's Eggs. One activity that we both liked was the basic subtraction using a 10-pin bowling game. The bowling pins were counted out, instructions were given on screen and read out, and then my preschooler bowled his bowling ball and then was asked how many were left. He also liked the puzzle activity, which like all the Education City games was introduced by a cartoon story. This girl is washing dishes, and then breaks one, and it's your turn to put the pieces together. My older children worked out the perimeter of shapes on a building site, square roots under the ocean and angles in a triangle at a beach barbecue. There are also tests which your child can take which in the UK version will give your child a national curriculum level for their maths. And as I said before it is all great fun these rich and imaginative contexts. But there is a problem. But it all takes so much time, all these contexts, all these cartoon movies setting up the questions. They have 10 minutes to do the questions. And in that 10 minutes, they just do a few questions, whereas if they had were sitting there with a workbook or with some quick fire questions, even with the colourful cartoons and bright characters and exciting contexts, they get a lot more done. They're just not getting a lot of work done on Education City. And also, it doesn't teach the children. It doesn't explain to them how to do the questions. It's only if the child makes a mistake then it gives a, a brief explanation. But it does assume that the child already understands the work. So it's more more or less a, a practice site, which is fine if that's what you need. But even as a practice site there just aren't enough questions. It's not rigorous enough. Your child is going to sit there watching cartoon movies for half the time instead of being outside playing football or playing with their friends or reading a book or even watching something educational on TV. Education City just seems to waste time. Now having said all that, I am impressed with it for, for younger children, for preschoolers, for introducing them to the concepts of maths. I just think Maybe I'm just horrible, maybe I just think it's too nice for the older children, maybe I just think my children should suffer a little bit for their maths. No, that isn't what it is. It's just not, there's not enough maths. I'm a mathematician, there's not enough maths within Education City. But if you take into account all the other subjects that they offer, like the literacy and the languages and the science, it's a good package. For the price you're paying, um, which in the UK is £30 for the year, and also there are some discounts available. It's, it's quite a nice package. But if you want something that's seriously going to help your child with maths, this probably isn't the product for you. So, for preschoolers, I give it 9 out of 10. And for older kids, I give it a score of 3 out of 10, giving an overall verdict for Education City of 6 out of 10. For quick tips and practical advice to help you guide your child to math success, visit www.mathsinsider.com.